Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to have a quick tutorial on this cute mini smocking dress. Okay, let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is a mini drop. All you need is a ruler, a pen, and your body measurements. You'll see me here making a note of my bust, underbust, waist, and low hip measurements just for my own reference. I am going to take all of these numbers and divide them by four so that it tells me where I need to make the marks on my lines to make the curves of my body. So the first thing I'm going to do is add some ease. So you'll see me draw my line away from the edge. I'm gonna make a mark at the bottom at what would be my body length and then make horizontal lines for my top edge, my bust, under bust, waist, and low hip. For reference, I am making a mini draft of a 30 inch mini dress, so 30 inches from the top edge to the hem. The top edge usually sits about seven inches below your shoulder, so just as a reference. I'm going to label my lines here, the top and my hem, my bust, under bust, waist, and low hip. So the ease that I'm using is five inches. So five extra inches around the front and five extra inches around the back. So we're gonna start by placing our bust line four and a half ish inches below your top edge. The under bust four inches below the bust. And then we're gonna draw a line from the top edge to the waist at about 13 ish. And we're going to do the same thing for the low hip. So from the top edge to the low hip placement, it's going to be roughly 18 inches. Now I'm going to start marking the uh, lines for my body widths. So for the quarter of my bust, it's going to be 11 and 3 quarters. My under bust, 10 and a half. Waist, 10 and a half. And my low hip is 13 and a half. For the sweep, we're going to take it in about an inch, inch and a half. So I'm going to do 11 an inch-ish for the sweep. So then I'm just going to connect the lines here. Once you have those lines connected, we're going to add 2 inches for the seam allowance all the way around the side of the garment. And this will give you a half an inch sewing allowance for both side seams. So now I'm just going to take my mini curve and kind of give you guys an idea of how you should be curving and blending the angles on your pattern. I'll do this in real life when I make the real pattern, but I just kind of want to give you an idea. You want to smooth them out, no pointy edges. Then I remembered I wanted this to be 30 inches total after the hem allowances. I'm going to add a 1 inch encased elastic at the top. So you'll see me adding to the top as well as the bottom. And then I draw that line all the way over to the edge of the paper. So that would be my total pattern. Squaring off just to give you guys a visual of what this should look like. And that's the mock-up. So here's a quick peek of me working through making my life size pattern using my straight ruler and my curve to get it all looking great. Here's a quick peek of my pattern. I forgot to add my ease so I just added it when I cut it out on the fabric as you can see here. The next step is you'll need elastic thread and you have to hand wind this on the bobbin. You cannot use the bobbin threader on your machine, it won't work. So you're gonna slide it through the hole, hold one side and loosely, or not loosely, but you know, you're not gonna stretch the elastic. You just wanna wrap it around tightly, but not stretch. So very easily just wind it up. If you have multiple bobbins, this is the time to wind all of them. I used about seven or eight bobbins in this project. I did not get this on film, but I only sewed one side of the garment with the straight stitch, regular thread on top and bottom, and then I surged that one side clean. So this is here. I'm surging the one side and I surged the top edge and the bottom edge.
Here you'll see me sewing the one inch casing for the elastic top edge. I later realized this was a mistake to sew this at this point. So we'll save this for future reference and I'll tell you when you should have done this. Here I'm sewing the hem. I just double turned the marrow edge and top stitched it. So here's the fun part. I've started the smocking with regular thread on top and the elastic bobbin on the bottom. Make sure to sew all the way to the edge of the fabric. I kind of straightened the fabric as I went through. I don't think this is necessary, but I thought it was kind of helpful. Um, my rolls are about three quarters to one inch apart and I just sewed straight across and then down a few stitches and then turn it around and stitch it the other direction. This took quite a while. Um, I realized I could get maybe four to five rows per bobbin, remembering that this is the front and the back bodice together. So with about eight bobbins, I did about 37 rows of smocking. Now I am going to sew the other side seams together. I tried to do my smocking stitches all the way to the end so that I could catch it in the side seam. So I sewed it with a lock stitch, regular thread top and bottom, and then I cleaned my edges with my serger. So I searched all of that clean. After serging, this is the time to do the turn back for the encased elastic. Here's a close up of my elastic. I didn't actually get myself on video putting the elastic in, but if you need help, I can show you. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen, that's the dress.